In this video, we'll walk through an example of the indeterminate form infinity to the zero power. If we have the limit of 1 over x raised to the power of sine of x, and we try to take that as x approaches zero from the right-hand side, by direct substitution, that would be 1 over zero raised to the sine of, of zero, which would give us infinity in terms of the limits, infinity to the zero power. So there's our indeterminate form. A general rule of thumb is that when we have this, these exponential indeterminate forms, then we are going to start by letting the limit equal L. So L equals this entire limit. And then what we will do is take the natural log of that limit. So the natural log of L equals all of this stuff, this, the natural log of, of this limit. And when we have the natural log of the limit of a function, we can write that as the limit of the natural log of that function. And now that we have the limit of the natural log of the function, what we want to do is rewrite this part inside. So the natural log of 1 over x raised to the power of sine of x. So let's do that. Well, by uh, the properties of logarithms, when you have the logarithm of something raised to an exponent, you could take that exponent and move it out front and, and multiply it. So what we have here is the sine of x multiplied by the natural log of 1 over x. Now what we're going to do is rewrite this as, uh, rewrite this, this product as a quotient. So instead of writing um, multiplied by sine of x, I'll say multiplied by 1 over sine of x. So I've rewritten that as the natural log of 1 over x over 1 over sine of x. So I haven't changed anything here. I've just manipulated uh, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So, so that is the same as being multiplied by sine of x. Now, instead of writing 1 over sine of x in the denominator here, I've written cosecant of x, because that's what 1 over sine of x is. Now, at this point, if we were to take, to take the limit as x approaches 0 from the right, this would be an indeterminate form. So what we can and should do is um, take L'Hopital's rule. So what L'Hopital's rule lets us do is take an indeterminate form, like 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, and take the first derivative of the numerator and the first derivative of the denominator. So that's what I have in red here. The first derivative of the natural log of 1 over x is just x. That's 1 over 1 over x, and that's just x. And the first derivative of cosecant of x is negative cosecant of x times the cotangent of x. Now, if we were to plug 0 in, if you will, by direct substitution, what we would get is something like Z zero, let's get that, zero over one over zero times one over zero, or in any event, zero. So what we have from this natural log of L, I've color coded this, natural log of L equals zero. So the natural log of the limit equals zero. But now we have to decide, well, how do we get back to L? This is what we want, is L, the limit of our original function. Well, there's a property of logarithms or of uh, the natural base e and that says that l equals e to the natural log of l so l equals e to this because the natural log of l is zero so e to the zero power and that is one so the limit this original limit that we were looking for equals one and that is our answer